Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be making some chicken below below rice, which basically is chicken bran rice. Um, for this I've got three onions which I've sliced up just long and I've got some garlic and ginger in here with a bit of garam masala, whole garam masala which I've just crushed with the pestle and the mortar. Guys, these are the masalas for the um, rice. A tablespoon of red chili powder. Obviously you can add that and salt according to your own husbiz, um, I could say, according to your own taste. Um, salt, here yeah, I'm using two tablespoons and then later I'm going to check if there's more needed. And then we have garam masala here. That's one and a half tablespoons of garam masala. Then I've got the mix, my mom's mixed masala, which I am going to be recording a video on soon. Then I've got paprika powder here, which is about a tablespoon as well. And then I've got big masalas here. So I've got cinnamon sticks. I've got black cardamoms, um, black cardamoms, some long, which is called cloves. Then I've got black, green cardamoms and cinnamon sticks. So that's the masala that's going to be going into there. Obviously the chili and um, salt you add according to your own taste. So I have one cup of oil. I need that. Was that cup? Okay, so I'm going to add this much butter ghee to it. So I'm going to throw in the onions. chicken to get the colour of the onions. So that's why we brown them quite we brown the onions quite a bit. Guys I'm just gonna add in all the masalas Guys, we've got half a cup of uh, water which I'm just going to add so the chicken can continue cooking without burning. Guys, I'm going to add another half cup of water and then we're going to leave it on low fire just for the chicken to cook a bit more. So guys, these are cooked now and I'm going to add the water in for the rice to start cooking. So I've got... I've Right, so I've got three of these pots, this pot of rice, so this one. So I've used three of these of rice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in five of those same pots of water. Because basically with the rice, um, just say I've got three pots of these. So I'm going to double it, which is six, and take one away. Because when we wash the rice, some of the water from the rice will be going into the pot. And we don't want the rice to get too mushy so which is why we're going to take one away but however if you're cooking it on um, once you put the rice in and stuff and you realize that there's 
less water in there and rice is still a bit hard you can always add in more water and that's the one thing you can add in water but you can't take it away which is why you want to put in you want to start off with one less and then you can add in half more later if you need, if it need be so right now you can check for the salt the chilies and if you need to add any more um, just taste the water if you need to add any more then you can add some more at this point Let's put the lid on and let it come to a boil that's when you wash your rice and you add your rice in so when it comes to a boil we'll get back to you Rice here. Guys, the camera just died, so I'm just filming on my phone now. I've just put the rice in, and I'm gonna add some salt to it because there's less salt in there. Guys, this is done. Well, not done. Now we're gonna put it on dumb. Most of the water has gone, and now we're gonna put it on dumb. We're gonna put it on the cover. No, the water is mostly gone. And we're gonna steam cook it. We've just put um. Uh, cloth over it. I uh, uh, wash the cloth with cold water and put the cloth on top. And we're gonna put on the lid so that none of the air comes out. And we're gonna put it onto the cover now. That's done, guys. You just put this on so it steam cooks in there. None of the air gets out. Put this on top so just a little, a little bit more pressure on top so none of the air comes out we put it on the dava and we're gonna put it on low fire you have to let the dava warm up um, before you put the hundi on top mm -hmm. 